way your position will be revealed, but oh my goodness, the aggression. Paranoia not to find too much. Recon Bolt also doesn't get a whole lot, but Corey does instead. Just lets the lead do the talking as Soul grabs one back to the Jets on the board for both these squads and go out towards screen. Sabroza able to bunny hop to safety and well, the 4v4 retake. It'll now commence with TSM. On the defensive side of things, so lower on HP, but a couple of members still chipped away at for TSM as well. And with the utility available, nothing really to stop the post plant in way of kind of reaching out and touching somebody. You just have to take the fight. The screens go back up. The recon bolt goes out. It's easily taken care of, but Churro goes one for one. The odds stay even, but it's Rossi and Corey who are low on HP, but they're the ones that are finding the kills as Alvarez falls. No, he doesn't. Seven that falls. It's Alvarez to try and hang on to the spike that's planted for him. Unfortunately, numbers not in favor. It's Corey with three big kills on the round. And TSM, and they got themselves the pistol. That's not an anchoring on the A site. Somebody should be that way. And who better? <gasps> Sabrosa tossing out the poison cloud. GMD to reinvest. It is such a huge risk to be taken. Seven's alarm bot, or excuse me, that trademark, somehow not triggering. Turo is just outside the frame. Playing it well now. That initiation will happen. They try and push on in, but Seven grabs two. He's suppressed, so can't get away. Just has to stand, try and deliver two. Is it enough? Well, three versus three, even odds in the retake. But Rossi, shot bolt, connection onto Soul. He goes on down, and now more utility to buy time. Recon on up. TSM, they'll push off of that. And both players noted one planning, one generator, 3v2 on the read. Take GMD, take his time. Paranoia goes across and GMD awarded the assists along a side of seven, who did not only two kills, but heaps of damage to allow that retake to happen. That's the value with that position. This way, it's only chip damage, but they have to send Util out towards the Jets. And well, chip damage on Alvarez becomes a kill on Churro. And Corey, this time, he's not walking away with 36 HP. He is incredibly healthy. Here on the Jets, Alvarez cannot say the same. Seven. Have to find a frag going aggressive across the map. Soul steals one back. And Corey still at it. Only a couple of marshals to try and close things out at the very least to a bit more damage. The operator, the big brother of the marshal. And seven finds another. Now Dens. What do you got here? Sheriff in hand, able to sit down. Corey, that's a rifle at his feet, but he's not going to have to pick it up instead. And likely will force TSM to just play retake and last QMD once he can pass down below. And they just got no util to help him out here, but Hunter Fury deep from the spawn. Fortunately, doesn't seem to open up too much as Alvarez goes aggressive through the toxic screen and takes down both GMD. And Corey, okay, just dry on through. Rossi going to go, will steal the soul away from the Jets. Of illusion, but still a player. Low HP on both of these teams. The Owl Drone not gonna find too much in the post plant. It's it's being set up. Dance has two shock darts, two snake fights. Still available to the attacking side. Turn to defenders. That spike continues to tick away. And it's not up this time. It's planted just out in the open. And they're trying to get it on top just to get out of range of the utility. And Rossi is on the hunt. Rossi knows what is going to take place and Okay, we didn't get the ticker for it, but the spike just gets into little pieces of attack and convert off of it. And that is a great start to the round once more for TSM. The blade will be denied, and Corey won't get much with this. Not gonna do it just yet. The jump picking through the wall. Stepping gets a bit too aggressive. GMD here to receive the churro. Gonna take down one, make it two spike in down, this round. Please. Flipped One upside down is again Boone is across the map. He does challenge the pit. He does make his way through, but his team died in the meantime. 30 seconds left. This is quite a hike to get done. And still, three players on TSM to face. Foon is in trouble. And Sabrosa is looking the correct direction. Still, not enough. Foon able to grab that first. Out sprinting around the corner. There is no doubt as to where this man stands. And GMD is oh yeah, available in hand. And Sabrosa in position to swing off of him. Paranoia. That goes through. And Sabrosa, the follow up, swing forward. Hunter's Fury will be used, but Sabrosa, he's a better dancer. Tippy toes his way out of harm's way as the operator connects for another kill. Illusion, again, make an attempt to go quicker towards his site to try and shut things on down, and it utterly fails. There was that player in towards mid, the scope weapon. Hold the line there. Illusion has to fight this, and Rossi is still here. Damage done, so he's down to 30 HP. He's in a bit of trouble, though, but the fight for utility goes back up. Corey is still on the line. He has a tailwind. This round has just been so slow. For illusion, and instead of waiting, instead of buying for space, safe has just been slowly walking. Sleep from seven was aggression when he was playing a pushing all the way up into main. Ooh, and now we get aggression. 
Dashing all the way up into mid, it's Rossi, but they're privy to it. They sniff him out, take him down. The first off shot won't land. The next one will, though, and here it is. The double off setup on the B site. The teleport to safety. The paranoia from mid, and then goes down. GMD eventually going to be answered for, but that's all they're getting. Kuro, the last one standing, and it's not for long. TSM pick up the P. The Chemical X. Professor added to make the Powerpuff Girls and well the Rowdy Rough Boys gotta show us something. Dents goes down earlier in this round, but traded right back. Corey will fall. The other op is still here in seven. Already taking a bit of damage, maybe too scared. Push forward and I shouldn't even be saying that. Of course he's not scared. The pit goes down, the op goes right on through. Things get awkward out towards danger. But seven swings the angle again. I will shut my mouth. I'm done speaking. Eventually he does get hunted down, but GMD quick to trade. Who has been better for this team than GMD, especially in situations like this where the pit still stands, but they're looking to clear it out as Alvarez grabs one in response. GMD quick on the trade. The pit will fall in Alfoon out towards yellow. And a 1v2, the shroud is set. No, GMD will go. The spike still ticking. Rossi still healthy, but needs to win the duel and he'll lose it out. Finally, Illusioner on the board with the Red Bull clutch. Full tier of TSM. The drone is done. He clear out the bros in time, and he falls. Boom will do it again. A huge kill for Illusion. A second one to follow. Make it a third. He still scoops up two. There's a fourth, and they want themselves the flawless low HP on a few members. And there it is. The prime gaming TSM. And he's been doing that fairly successfully. GMD toss up the paranoia. Gets the near sight, and Boom's not close enough to see the swings. The first kill. Attention towards him, that could be so <gasps> big, the team of Rosa. Oh, sure, now he's down, but does Turo expect the second? Absolutely! Turo, another to be picked up, it's still alive in this angle. Corey eventually puts an end to the chaos, but how much can GMD get done on the site? He wants battle, he wants to fight in this one, teleports into it, and grabs a third for himself. Alvarez will reply, but he's stuck on this spike, and Corey is there. Ninth... Flash off the angle though, GMD can put that paranoia away as Alvarez first up to the plate and he knocks it out of the park, Corey falls and GMD has to pick up the pieces down, and it's beat. perfect for two, more than you could have hoped for but across the map, Boone still fragging out as we go back and forth we find ourselves in a 2v2 situation in the last round of the half, GMD One makes his way out remaining. towards Belt, he sticks the alt but Churro makes sure that he won't stick the landing but the spike it's down. Rossi on the wrong side of the map, and Foon is wary of the positioning of the Sova. Full usual here. No! And Churro looks to take the fight, but he doesn't win it. The health bars are low, but they're in favor of TSM. Spike planted. It comes down. Viper's good to work with in this one. Foon, just one HP, but if he can outsmart Rossi, so the very good chance at this one. He'll tuck close and towards Yellow, and by this time, wait, Rossi, a dart to work with. That's the biggest piece of utility in his favor. No shot. You send that dart <gasps> anywhere but the pit. Instead, he sends it out towards yellow. Still not getting the information that he had hoped for. Spoon continues to play on the outside. Low HP, but there's no gap on the spike. Hunter Shiri, it's not going to be needed here in this round. As Rossi hops onto the spike for just a second. Snake fight comes down. He wants to try and run down the Viper as his health is coming back up. The pit is starting to go down. He's going to try and heal on through it. He's got to have the time. And yes, he does. It's TSM to reel it back in for the last two rounds. Um, wants to fight for it. Boom does not want to give it up for free. So he'll plant his feet back side as the poison cloud goes through. Flash out and over the top. Things are stalled for now, but Boom with Ghost in hand picks up two. An illusion. They're battling back here in the second half. As the headhunter shots, they take just a bit too long to land. And now GMD finds himself in a 1v2, a direct 1v1. And Alvarez has the high ground for the pistol round for illusion. Three, in fact, Sabrosa Rossi, GMD. So they're going to be a little bit weaker to the Bulldogs oh, where they've crept up. GMD still holding out towards mid to try and stop the rotations here. And an instant plan. It's not that default plant, although teleport still in range. Foon, the only one quickly to answer out towards the B side, and he's immediately taken down the full by round. Going the way of TSM thus far. Alvarez tries to take two with GMD out towards mid. We go one for one on that specific duel, but now Soul has such a tall task. And Sabrosa comes up huge. Shock dart out and over the top. It doesn't find too much. Good paranoia to force the defense back. They're still here. They still want to find a dash on into the site. Corey getting the first to meet the defenders. Snake bites Spike out to nobody face. really pushing back site just yet as Denz. Finds a kill on the GMD. Rossi. There to trade it back, fortunately, and as the smoke subsides, the flick is perfect, but one right back, make it two for Soul, and they're making it hurt, even if the round slips away, which it doesn't seem to be the case. 
Arturo up top, gonna be taken down. Rossi has a tall task once more. A 1v3 as we saw in the pistol. He loses it out this time. He's got a rifle in hand. He's got four kills in the Red Bull clutch. In the corner for the attacking side of TSM. Corey, he's gonna be awarded that ultimate, but it's in way of death. He goes down, takes the death alt orb, and we'll have to try and fight for another round. Meanwhile, 7x friends out towards mid. Nice pick there to get things back to rendezvous to safety. And we're even Stevens once more. But even tends to favor the attacking side. Yes, I'm in a good position. Build the chamber. Oh. And Seven has the angle. The door to force connecting for one. A true even odds. Yeah, up still in hand or two to force, I should say. Oh, the angle is the slimmest of margins. But now Seven has to be the one to get it done. Rightful. Now to be swapped as he rendezvous to safety. The spikes planted. This is the situation that Seven wants to be in. He looks to take another shot. He'll back away. And it's the chambers. Going toe-to-toe, -to -toe. it's Churro going aggressive, he spotted out, had a teleport available himself, but he chooses not to use it. Both rendezvous picked up, and Churro, he's on the spike, he might just look to stick it, he's going all the way in illusion, they'll hang on. Churro holds his nerve, he realizes, hey, Seven is a little too far away, he's gonna call my bluff, and Churro manages to pick up the round, a big one, to claim there for illusion, is now that gap lessens down to seven still. There is some cons- Just nothing to be had, the decay, it might be too much as the jet gets on the jet, looks to escape, and now, with the util falling down, a nice flash on the opposite side, Alvarez steps forward to grab a kill back for his squad, just behind the drone, there are a few members of TSM, the tag is perfect, it allows for the bag for seven, Corey can- one in Boone, Last left to plant his feet and fight his way fight on out, then who eight. better than? In 1v2, Churro for Illusion, Corey and Seven, here for TSM, might get to be planted, Cloud first use, Headhunter out, the dash back on in, and Corey Commit to this fight, it could be huge, TNT up top, needs to look to the right direction, one shot, found Soul, another two with the Sheriff. To pretend to be a defender as he pushes this way. This is just such a tall task. Only one player directly on the spike, though. They win this fight on Foon, and he's not looking the right way. Rosa, how much more are you expecting? Picks up the first. Nobody there to respond. Dark, no paranoia goes out of seven. Scoops one up across mid. Corey, now TSM are starting to find the kills. A beautiful right click to find Alvarez into pieces. And now Dens tens with a D. Nope, unfortunately, it's, it's dense. Uh... Necessary for TSM. This round will be working their space in towards mid. It was a setup. Two sides just on the other half of the dark cover. And it gets Spike awkward for a moment, but we end things in a two versus two with that A site completely opened up. TSM should be able to get the spike down. They have guns recovered now. Rossi has utility. Corey has Spike a lead. There's a lot available to win this one. There is a, a lot available, but a lot of information making its way on through. Both players spotted up in heaven. Spray underneath. Not quite gonna land. Does get a bit of damage, but at the end of the day, everybody still stands. Corey out towards main. As Churro pops down. He's gonna be noted. He gets caught up on the generator for just a second. The recon bolt does nothing, and Corey does good in finding early frag for TSM. With their due diligence, make sure that they can trade back. There's the operator that you noticed that is to find the first and aggression out towards mid. The knives are immediately answered, and we continue the back and forth. An absolute bloodbath, and the numbers they get so low. We get so close for either of these teams, but here in round four, it's a player ahead for TSM. It's still an up in hand. Seven to be wielding the sidearm. The Bucky, it's not quite what it used to be, but Boone to find the first. Op maybe turned shot, but close angle will be held. The no scope won't land. The Bucky will, however, in the aftershock. No, it's escaped by the shrouded step inside the dark cover is exactly where GMD wants to be, but Churro might just have to run him down. He sneaks away out towards mid, and he's got the spike in hand. This guy is a man on a mission in GMT. The clutch, not able to find it though. Churro. Round win. The comfortability is there. The cringe is also to follow. Here comes the showstopper though, and it's just enough. Churro getting flipped on his way out, but an up on the opposite side. It's Soul. Now swapping over to a rifle, he wants to play the retake with his squad. He wants to indeed, but they're already out, they're already fighting. Dens tries to hold down the four, but it's only one for one. The trades go back and forth. In a bit of a tough position here, isolated, out alone, but Tabrosa in a position to stay way off him. He doesn't even need the help. Seven takes down one, escapes now the drone will press forward, and Alvarez is in for a world of hurt. Taking that space your team, or whatever your tailwind is, you have to be proficient 
with the blast packs and Corey showing that he is. Speaking of efficiency, Roxy, when he shoots the Hunter's Fury, he usually doesn't miss. And somehow that's being allowed. Corey walks away almost completely unscathed. It's long range dueling with the judge, and now he's running at him, but he wasn't expecting one more again to try and fight it out from backside, and he does so successfully. But here comes Seven. Needs to find the spike and two kills. So the first to receive. And low HP. So a scary spot to be in as both players back away. Now towards that B site. Rendezvous is available. The wall bank. They're traded back and forth. The spike not yet picked up. And there he goes. Yep. Spot of both players. Yeah, just trying to get out of this one. 22 HP. He wants to stick around, trying to bait them out. Make them think he's rotated away. Wow. But Dens will not fall for it. You talked earlier that Dens fragged out because two huge kills. Now we go back to the last pack with the right one. And guess what? Corey able to find the first Dens. There to answer back for But Rossi quick on the trade. It's two for one for TSM as they look to storm that B site once more. And out towards mid seven, holding it down the long con for the chamber. The spike is planted. Kill out towards mid. Foon will fall. And now it's down to Cole and Alvarez, who notable players for this team. If anybody's going to do it, if anybody can get it done, it's these two. And here we go. Now it's 2v2. GMT getting aggressive. We'll take down Soul. Now Justin needs to find Alvarez. Tagged up. One being pink. The aftershock is there. The frag to follow. We go back and forth to the very last. But TSM, they don't really care until maybe. Now the Zabrosa has died. But on the other side of the map, the lurk is big for seven. He's making a lot of noise, though. There's another player in close. The classic seven caught with the utility in hand. And TSM now only have one man left. Rossi, though, spike in hand. One of players stacked up further. Ten seconds Both left. players right there in front of them, and now they just have to wait. They just have to bide their time, and recon really bolts go out. The shrouded steps to follow. He's got to push on through after seeing the beast. The paranoia will keep them at bay, and Foon will close out the round. It's a thrifty this time around. They're not just trying to brute force their way into B main. They're going back to the default way to play, but now they're getting caught out. Churro. First kill here in round 10. Alvarez to match. It's traded right back, but then will grab. Still, Soul still misses the shot, but Foon could end this. We could end it right here, but the name is being cleared on out. Corey was ready on the angle the entire time. Soul. 30 second seconds opportunity. Left. Second chance in this one. Still, he has a talent to work with the operator and hit. He needs to take down seven, and he's done so. Another task, another opportunity, but Corey winning things on out. He spotted the kill joy oh, up the above, wall. but Churro. Cross this time the paint shells. Won't be there to use Hunter Shuri will and Hunter Shuri not needed. It's gonna corral, but here comes the Odin. The sheriffs might not be enough. A seven goes up into heaven. We'll see if Soul's ready for the angle. Nope, he wasn't there in time. So we go back and forth. We continue. And on the site, out goes the dark cover as Foon tries to hold it down, but eventually he gets run down, and it's the pistols for TSM that finally look to reel them back in, but there's an Odin. On the opposite side of things here in the 1v3, Soul has been so good for the squad. He's about to spot the head, the purple great of the bro, he doesn't quite find the kill. What? Yes, he does! He sprays them both down as GMD gives up too much, and the recon bolt reveals the position of Rossi. And he's just about 1 HP! He hops off the spike, and Soul gets it done! What a clutch for Soul! Illusion! I mean, they needed a hero, and Soul sure is hell step. Leave alone. Boom, very alone in his endeavors. No, he's not. He goes one for one. He'll gladly take that showstopper. Use the kill to push on through a beautiful flash, but Rossi starts to pick up the pieces for TSM. They're done conceding rounds for free. Now they're fighting their way back on him, but it's a lockdown to force him off the side of that spike in the planet. The bros are wanting to go aggressive, but it's an op just on the opposite side. Are they expecting Rossi here? A leg shot lands a classic. It's not going to be needed. It's Dens. To hold it down for the team and gmd has nothing in way of util to work with the spike planted just outside the garden doors and the angles are going to be held here not on the spike just yet the op going to be spotted the barrel spot of the other player out towards generator and we go back and forth clutch for clutch to try and delay already they're trying to provide some pressure up towards heaven the shock darts to keep people at bay but tsm will send a force over towards the trigger illusion do they want to fight this do they want to fight forward with the face they do they're charging in towards it tsm doesn't reply but that's our cover keeps it at bay now the name flash to follow it on up in seven with the headhunter connect still a man in the close Order. It's dense. Seven needs more. Only gets one GMD. Alone in the one versus no. one. Needs a new weapon, but cannot get it done. Dens holds strong. A 3k. Seven. Hunter. Always makes something work, and that he does. Gets away as well. 
Rossi finds one with the, what is going on and still finds those two massive connections. Corey Hall, money bandy mission to work with, and he has got to as well. Corey, a double with his way main. Timing on that one way is perfection. Paranoia could be better. Sabrosa should have to concede this one. But again, the utility to support the other direction. If they just scaling for now, but illusion slow. They need to make it on towards the site very quick. And they've taken care of Carrie. Corey, excuse me, that's a good way to start still. Sabrosa is in the back lines, and GMD has utility as well. There's only 15 seconds left. They have to move now, and GMD ready for it. Drop in seven for two. Sure, that spike is down, but now Alvarez is alone. He's already found one. Sabrosa and Rossi still far away, so moment of calm. Alvarez impose himself. Try and find a way to isolate out these duels. They're gonna fight it together. 56 HP on the KO, the recon bolt won't reveal, the first one falls, it's three kills, needs to be four as Rosso talks up, the shot starts to bounce, it's almost good, the second one lands, and Alvarez has so many different plays in the book, and well, Illusion, they're changing the pace, they're going fast towards B. Yeah, and, and they cut out the ability, sure, but the rifles, the snipers, the LMGs, they're still good, they're still here, and well, there it is, rifles, LMG snipers to get us started, and it's a prime gaming flawless, they completely stunt that push. And a slow start for Sabrosa in map number one, but he stepped up in a big way here, looking so comfortable on that omen roll. The, the paranoia's have been good. All five are a main. Well, all four remaining are a main. And it's Gretchen up the back end of the Rolling Thunder. The stuns are there. Everybody is Sabrosa again. He tries to come up another through the box that doesn't land. And unfortunately for Churro, his lockdown has fallen. Well, for Tens and Friends, or Dens and Friends, Defenders I should say.